kids, it's me, Teacher Marge, and welcome to my new video. Now, let's talk about ordering fraction. Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Marge. So before you watch my video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button. Don't forget to like, share, and comment to all of my videos. I hope you like my videos and see you intro in boom. What we call descending order. Again, descending order. And what is the meaning of descending order? Descending order means biggest to smallest. Again, biggest to smallest. So let's try first descending order. Number one, the denominators are equal or the same. So let's try. For example, we have 40, 40 here, and 40 here. Next, I will just write any numbers on the top. Now, to arrange this one, the same thing in ascending order. So, you are going to copy the number in the denominator, which is 40. And then, arrange the number on the top from biggest to smallest. So, what comes first? We have 27. Next one, we have 15. And finally, we have 9. So, that, uh, this is how you arrange the descending order if the denominators are equal. Let's try another one. We have 19 over 42, 1 over 42, and we have 7 over 42. The same thing or the same process. What are we going to do is to arrange or copy the denominators first, which is 42. Next one, arrange the numbers on the top from biggest to smallest. So we have 19, 7, and 1. Understand? That is the first one. The, new, the denominators are equal. Now, in number 2, the same thing, but it is an opposite of ascending order. So, we have the numerators are equal. The numerators are equal, but denominators are different. So, let's try another one. Two-fourths, two-thirds, and two-tenths. Okay. So, in this rule, we need to remember that the smallest denominator is the biggest fraction. Again, the smallest denominator is the biggest fraction. Let's try to copy the denominators first. No, wait. Let's try to copy the numerators first because they are all the same so we have two two and two and here you are going to choose the smallest denominator yes you heard me right the smallest denominator because the smallest denominator is the biggest fraction so we have here three we have here fourths and we have here ten Okay, another example, we have 54 over, uh, let's say, 78, 54, 55, and 54, when, uh, let's try 68. Okay, so the same thing, copy the numerators first, and then, Arrange the denominators from smallest to biggest. So let's write. We have 55, 68, and 78. Okay? So always remember, smallest denominator is the biggest fraction. And let's try number 3. Number 3, 
all fractions are different. So number three now. All fractions are different. So we have two third, one ninth, and let's try five six. Okay. So what are we going to do? Like what we had in ascending order, we need to get the LCD. And what is LCD again? List, common, denominator. Again, list, common, denominator. So we will get number 3 here. 3, 9, and 6. Get the LCD. So divide it by 3. So here it becomes 1. Here will be 3 and here will be 2. Divide more. So we have 3. 1, 1, 2. And lastly, we have 2. 1, 1, 1. Multiply the numbers on the side or on the left side and you will get 18. So maybe you can do what I did in ascending order by just dividing 18 to 3 and multiply to 2 again. Divide to 3 and times to 2. So 18 divided by 3 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. Correct. Next, 18 divided by 9 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. 16, uh, 18 divided by 6 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, there you have it. But it's not yet the final answer. Why? Because your answer here will define which one is the biggest fraction. So it means we will arrange the original fraction, which is 5, 6, because it has 15 here. Next one is 2 thirds, and we have 1 ninth. Okay? Let's try another one. 6, 8, 1 fourth, and 4, 6. Okay, so they are all to, uh, different. So what are we going to do is to find the LCD again. So you must get the denominator. So we have 8, 4, and 6. Divide it by 2. So this one will be 4. Here will be 2 and here will be 3. Divide it more until it becomes 1. So it will be 2. Here is 2, 1, 3. Divide it more. We have 2. Here 1, 1, and 3. And lastly, we have 3. So we have 1, 1, 1. Multiply this one and you will get 24. Next, divide 24 to 8. So 24 divided by 8 is 3. 3 times 6 is 18. Correct. Next, 24 divided by 4 is 6. 6 times 1 is 6. And lastly, 24 divided by 6 is... Yes, correct. 4. 4 times 4 is 16. And this one, arrange from biggest to smallest. So what we have... We have 6 eggs, correct? Next one is 4, 6. And lastly will be 1, 4. Okay? So again, remember, ascending order means smallest to biggest. And descending order is biggest to smallest. Bye! Hi guys! How's the video? Do you like it? If you like it, don't forget to like, share, and comment to all of my videos. Always remember, practice makes perfect. Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye!